So if you're somebody that only has a Mac computer, but you want to be able to go live on TikTok, then in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you're able to do that without the need of a thousand followers utilizing Streamlabs OBS. Okay, so jumping straight into the video, the very first thing you want to do is open up your Streamlabs OBS. And in case if you don't have it downloaded, I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below so that we guys can go ahead and follow along. And so once you open up and you download Streamlabs OBS, you're going to come down to the bottom left hand corner and you want to click on this option that says log in. It's then going to bring you to the login screen and you then want to sign in with your TikTok account. You should then be brought to the official TikTok login screen. So go ahead and just put in your credentials to officially log into your account. Once you are logged in, you should now be able to see different options on the left hand side of your screen. And then on the bottom left, you should be able to see your username for your TikTok account right down here. And so what you're going to want to do now is you then want to set up your canvas so that way it fits TikTok's format. So what we're going to do is you're going to come down to settings. You are then going to come up to video and you then want to change your base canvas resolution and flip it to 1080 by 1920. It's then going to turn it into a vertical canvas for you. You also want to make sure that your output scale resolution is also 1080 by 1920. And for your FPS type, you want to make sure that's set to common. And then for your common FPS values, you want to set that to 60. So that way you can have a stream that runs at 60 frames per second. So once we now have this set up, we need to come over to the output tab and you want to make sure that your output mode is set to advance. And so from here, you want to make sure that your audio track is set to one. Make sure the Twitch VOD track is unchecked since we're not going to be live streaming the Twitch. And for your NVIDIA encoder, you want to select this and you want to look for Apple VTH.264 hardware encoder. Now I am personally utilizing a Windows desktop, so I'm not going to have this on my screen. However, you should be able to see it on your screen since you are utilizing a Mac OS device. Now you do not want to use an X264 encoder because this is going to utilize way more resources than what you really need to be utilizing. And so look for the Apple VTH264 hardware encoder. And so from here, you want to make sure that your rate control is set to CBR or constant bit rate it means the same exact thing. Now, once you have this selected, go ahead and come down to your bit rate and you want to make sure you have this set to 6,000 for the best possible video quality. But if you notice that your live stream is starting to lag, then go ahead and drop your bit rate down to 4,500 as this will be a good balance for both TikTok and Streamlabs OBS. Now from here, you want to make sure that your keyframe interval is set to two and then for your presets, you want to either have it set for P5, P6, or P7. I would not go to P4 or anything below that because these are not going to be really good quality. But for P5, P6, or P7, you can choose either of these. However, I personally recommend going ahead and just choosing P5 as this will still give you good quality and still save you a little bit of resources for Streamlabs OBS since this is a heavy resource based software. So go ahead and set this to P5. And then for your tuning, you want to set this to high quality. For your multi-pass, you want to do two passes full resolution. For your profile, you want to set this to high. And then for your look ahead, make sure this is unchecked. And for your cycle visual tuning, you want to leave this checked. Now for your GPU, put this at zero. And then for your max B frames, you want to set this to two. And so now from here, we want to go over to the audios tab, and then you want to make sure that your sample rate is set to the highest possible quality. So for this is going to be 48 kilohertz for your channels. You want to make sure this is set to stereo. And then for your desktop audio, you actually want to go ahead and set this to your headset. And then for your second desktop audio, leave this disabled. And then for your mic auxiliary, you then want to go ahead and set this to your headset again if you're going to be talking through your headset or you're going to set this to your external microphone. So I have the beacon, so I'm going to be going ahead and selecting the beacon mic. And then from here, you want to go ahead and click on done. And that's it. So we have now officially set up all of our settings needed to be able to stream to TikTok. And so now the only thing we have to do now is set up our scenes and our sources. Now Streamlabs should have automatically gave you a scene, but in case if it didn't, then go ahead and come down to the scene section and then click on this plus icon 
and then just create yourself a brand new scene. And then what you're going to do from here is come over to your sources and you're going to click on the plus icon under your sources and this menu will pop up right here. And so under the capture sources, you have an option to select either a game capture, window capture, or a display capture. Now I do personally find it easier to do a display capture as this is more of an automatic option uh, for you to just showcase your screen. However, if you want to manually add in like your game scene or a specific window, then you can do the game capture or window capture. Now, once you've selected the one that you decided to go with, you are then going to go ahead and make sure that this option right here is checked and then go ahead and name this, whatever you like and then click add source. And then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to scale it to fit the entire screen. You are then just going to move it over so that way it fits directly in the middle. Now, if you're somebody that has a webcam or a camera and you want to be able to add your face then go ahead and click on the plus icon next to your sources. And then under the video and audio section, you want to go ahead and do a video capture. You are then going to go ahead and add the source. You're going to name this, whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and name this as camera. Click add source. And then what you're going to do is just select your webcam. So I'm just going to select one of my random webcams here, and then I'm going to come down, go ahead and click on close. And then I'm just going to go ahead and scale this to fit the top portion of my screen. Once that's there, I'm going to take my actual canvas itself. And I'm just going to bring this down here and there you go. So this is now the official layout of my TikTok live. And so now that we have everything set up, the last thing that we need to do is go ahead and get the approval to go ahead and go live onto TikTok. And the best way to do that is by clicking on this button right here that says to go live. And so what's going to happen is that this menu is going to pop up. You are then going to go ahead and give yourself a title. And then under this, it's going to provide you with the option to provide your TikTok streamer URL as well as your stream key. Now, because of the fact that we do not have one, we're going to go ahead and click on this option right here that says to apply for TikTok live permission. Once you do that, this option is going to pop up right here and you're just going to go ahead and click on the option that says apply again. You will then see that you have now got the approval to be able to go live on a TikTok. And so the only thing you have to do is just minimize this, close it, open it again, and you will now see that it is all gone. And so now you can go ahead and give your stream a title, go ahead and put it under the specific category that it needs to go up under. So for example, streaming with friends, and then you can go ahead and just put the name of the game that you're going to play. So for example, I can do Valorant and then for your audience, you will either want to make sure that it's set for everybody or set for adults only, just depending on the type of content that you are streaming. And then if you wanted to, you have an option to actually go ahead and tweet this onto your Twitter, AKA your X account. Once that's done, you're now able to go ahead and press confirm and go live. And so with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. And so now if you learned something or if you made it to the end, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel. And in case if you want to learn something new, make sure you click on this video right here as YouTube did recommend that video specifically for you. And I will catch each and every single one of you in the comment section down below or in the next video. Have a wonderful day, guys.